our end goal is that they're gonna retrieve birds well. And this, last I checked, is not a bird. Hi guys, uh, we are here for Legends. Next session, we're gonna be doing some fetch work today. Now, if this is your first time to the channel and this is the first video that you are watching of this retrieving series, know that it's a retrieving series. Hit that subscribe button, guys, and then go to our channel and find our playlist section, and then you can watch from video one on. They're all numbered, they're all in order, and that's the way that you need to be following these steps. Each video is not a training session per se, it's more of a step that you need to be able to accomplish before you can move to the next step. So it may take you one session, it may take you uh, five sessions on a step, or you may be able to accomplish multiple steps in a single session. Um, remember to keep these sessions short, it's gonna be better off in the long run, and we're gonna move right into some fetch work with him today. Now, as we start every session, we're gonna do just a quick little refresh. We're gonna have him hold on to, hold, something he does a good job with. Ah, hold, say, say he does a good job with, come on. Here, nice job, buddy. Hold, good, good. Building a lot with uh, conditioning good behaviors. We want to, we're gonna have to make corrections if he makes mistakes, but our ultimate goal would be to condition the behavior without having to make a lot of corrections, uh, especially in these early stages. Now, if you watched in our last video, we had a pretty good understanding of fetch, and we were moving through a couple different objects, trying to make sure that he was actually fetching when we ask, um, not just fetching because he wanted to. So it's something you'll have to differentiate before yourself with your dogs. And if you are having issues at any point in time with your dogs in this process, Patreon is an absolutely fantastic uh, way to get help from us. Kat and I both sit down and watch videos. All you need to do is sign up there. It's patreon.com slash standing stone kennels. And then you can upload um, video each one of your sessions, review them, and if you feel like you have questions, concerns, issues, or just want some clarification, does this look right? You'll go ahead and send those videos over to us on Patreon. We'll watch them, review them, and help guide you along your in your training goals and path here. So we're gonna go back to item number one. And do a couple reps, back up a little bit. Fetch, good. Fetch, good. Fetch, come on. Come on, come on, uh, 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 uh. He did a little of this last time. We just kept that pressure on and said, hey, pay attention, good. Momentum is going to be key. You're gonna see me do this. We're gonna do rep, rep, rep. It's gonna be three to four, typically, working from more of a like an eye level height for him, all the way down to the table. The last rep that we got in that last session was I could kind of pull my hand away and he still grabbed it off the table. I believe it was this fire hose bumper, but, that ultimately is our goal and we need to be, and you need to be um, in your sessions building momentum. If you're doing one rep, pausing like this to talk about it, then doing another rep, it's gonna take forever to get there and you may never get there well. So we're gonna start up here again. Fetch, good, fetch, good. You can hear we've introduced that cue. Stop that, this was a little correction. Stop rolling, stop mouthing, good. Good. Back up. Fetch. Nice. That's sloppy, but he tried to fix it. We'll help fix it there and hold it. He was able to grab that. I don't know how well you could see that, um, but he was able to grab it without my hand there at all. Good. Let's do a couple more. We're going to work that progression a little bit faster here. Back up. Fetch. So lower and then off the table. Good. And then we're going to do, an, that's a really good hold. Fetch. So he is grabbing, he's not getting a good grip in his first reach for it, and then he's fixing it. That's not something that I like, but it is at the same time. The movement in his mouth is not ideal, but the fact that he has enough desire to do this task, to want to have a better grip on it, he grabbed it and went, ah, I know this is kind of sloppy, I need to fix it so that I don't lose it, is an important thing to understand. So you have to kind of balance that judgment on your dog with, are they doing a good job or are they just kind of like sloppily grabbing it? Do they want to grab it? Do they not want to grab it? That's a very important thing to differentiate between. 
So he's doing well with that object. We're going to move to another one and see how many we can work through in this session. We have to fix this quick. Um, keep an eye on this. It's OK that this slides down. Do not tighten this up so that it cinches better, because there are quite a few um, uh, veins or arteries, whichever they are. I'm not a, a, a vet. But there are blood vessels of some sort that run through here. We don't want to cut off circulation to his foot. That needs to stay up there. It kind of helps to build, um, to support what's going on. But at the same time, it's OK that that's loose. And it is going to come down and need to be fixed throughout the process. Don't try and fix that one. We're going to start up high here again. Hey, fetch. You can see my tugs. There's not a lot of, ah, hold. Get to talking too much and then not pay attention to my dog. Good. My tugs, there's not a lot of pressure involved in that, but it's a constant tug, 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 tug. And we want to apply that type of pressure because later we're going to be utilizing um, the collar with a nick, 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 uh, nick, 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 nick. We're going to be using momentary to tap, tap, tap on him the way that I'm tug, tug, tugging on his toes. So that negative pressure should. That's sloppy, so he's still feeling some pressure here. Hold. These ones right here have been his least favorite for whatever reason. Some dogs absolutely love these. Hold. He does not. So we have to work through these a little bit. Hey, fetch. Good. That was much better. Fetch. Fetch. Uh, 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 right here. Put my hand kind of back there and pull it away. Dogs become very reliant on your hand if you spend too much time on this. So you have to get your hand away from the object as quickly as is possible while still maintaining good reps. I want better reps. I want him to be doing a better job so we're conditioning better things at this point in time. We're going to move up to a new object, but we're going to be switching to a canvas bumper. He does better with these and we can do a better job conditioning. Ultimately, as you're working with your dog, we want to figure out the fastest way to help them to get better. Okay, We don't need to be into the ground. You need to fetch this specific one. Now, other people may disagree with me on this, but our end goal is that they're going to retrieve birds well. And this, last I checked, is not a bird. So if he doesn't care for this, move on. Find something else that you can continue to wrap and get a better understanding. It's important now, don't misunderstand me here, it's important to be able to work through that object like we did, but if I have to just constantly fight this sloppy mouth because he doesn't like that one, I feel like we're doing less good or we're just spinning our wheels rather than continuing to progress with him. So, new object here, fetch up high, good. See, that already is drastically better. Fetch, good. Fixing, stop that, good. Fetch. Nice. Hold. So that was drastically more than one quick fix to get it back in his mouth. It was kind of a huh, huh, huh. Now, this is new. He hadn't been doing this in his last session. Good. This is going to happen sometimes with your dogs, guys. This is something we need to work through and then evaluate. Maybe he's just having an off day. Um, so we'll do a couple more reps here and then call this the end of his session. You're going to see things like this pop up with your dog. Every single dog that goes through the formal retrieving work process goes through differently. The steps are going to be similar, but the overall results or the overall response that you get out of a dog is different. Stop. So fetch. Hold. Let's go here. Fetch. Good. Stop that. I still think that that's fixing. This is bigger. He got it to the back of his mouth and he pretty much stopped on his own. Good. Let's grab another one here. Fetch. No. Fetch. Come on. Fetch. He's applying most of the pressure in this situation. Fetch. Uh, 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 uh. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Right here. Fetch. Again, that bumper's getting lost without my hand there. He's kind of fetching, trying to fetch the chain. He tried to fetch the rope. He tried to fetch anything else but that bumper. And it's because he's still kind of reliant. Stop. He's still kind of reliant on my hand to be there. Hold. Now, 
you're gonna see kind of a cadence or a pattern in the way that I'm doing this. It's a fetch, 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 fetch pattern, and then slow things down and hold. We don't need the whole thing to be an in out, in out, in out, in out, in out game. We need to condition that hold, but it's gonna happen in between your fetching sessions. Good. Now, I wanna do one more with him, and then we're not gonna ask anything else. Any new bumpers, nothing else. We're just gonna work through this. Fetch, fetch. Do another one, fetch. Good, that one was good. He went right for the middle of it. He grabbed a hold of it. We're gonna let him hold here for a minute. I see nothing wrong with that. Good job, good job. Guys, that's gonna be where we end this session. Thank you for everybody that's watching. Uh, this is Legend, I'm the guy with the pink gun. We're gonna get this boy off the table and we will see you guys in his next video. We're gonna be doing this entire process with him. We will keep you posted. Thanks for watching. Thank you.